Oh gosh, hi, I'm Alien. Papa rescued me from the Realm of Darkness gift shop, and um, you should go buy all of my friends. We're only like 20 or $25 in the gift shop. Help, oh gosh. Anyway, I'm Justin with This It's Carrie, Wisconsin. I'm joined here tonight by my best friend, Gage. And we're here tonight to talk about a very spirited haunted attraction in the city of Kakana. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we're talking about Realm of Darkness, run by Dalton and Ben. Now, when we first found Realm of Darkness, this was on a suggestion from a customer in line at Revenge Haunt. I was worried that we'd stumbled into Billy's Backyard Barbecue and Scares Boutique. Upon arrival, about four years ago, after seeing the lines... I knew Realm of Darkness was special. Dalton and Ben have been haunting since 12 and 14 years old in their parents' front yards and garages. When it comes to the details, these two get it. So come along. Let's journey into the Realm of Darkness. Let's see how they did. Did you just, like, write, uh, like, a story that you would for, like, language arts class in, like, middle school? So come along with me and journey into the Realm of Darkness. <laughs> Now, before we get into the actual review tonight, my brother has some thoughts he'd like me to share. So I'm going to share that first, and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes and the score. My brother said, this is a very interactive haunt. You're put in the haunt. This isn't just a walk-in, get-scared walking sim. You are actually center of the attraction. They have a perfect start with the elevator. It's interactive. It's tactile. It's unique and interesting. It appeals to the senses. My brother says, and I quote, these guys are light years ahead of any other haunt in the Green Bay area. There it is, right there. He actually wrote that down. Dalton and Ben, Realm of Darkness, light years ahead of everybody else. Top-notch actors, great timing, scares, scene work, everything was on point. The girl working in the psych ward absolutely terrified him. Great variety of scenery, great interactivity in multiple rooms. Now some misses. The bug drop was too dirty for them. Sarah had a ton of bugs in her clothes when she got home. It covered their bathroom floor. I think they got wet or she sat on them or something and they stained her back. It was really weird for her. So they spent a lot of the haunt picking the stuff out of there. What well, you guys got to understand, they're just not as down and dirty as we are. But it was something, it was something that they Wah. didn't like. They thought the cleanup wasn't necessarily worth the scare, if you know what I mean. There's okay. a reason why they're not hey. reviewing haunts. Hey, their thoughts, their thoughts. Um. They spent more time picking bugs out of their hair than they did uh, enjoying the haunt. These bugs are bothering me. <clears throat> they do. He does think they need a better go-home scare. He thought the dark maze was too long. You spend too much time doing this crap. And he thought the blink room totally missed for him because he was still trying to catch his bearings from the dark maze. And couldn't get any of the interactions. He didn't even know if there was an actor in there. I said, yeah, it was a screenshot scare. And he said the ending of the haunt felt really weak to him. His thoughts. He said for all the negatives, so those two things, he said the positives and the awesome parts of this haunt far outweigh any of the negatives that he could mention. He said by far best haunt he's been to. These guys, this show, light years above anything else. I beg to differ on a lot of his points because that's it's, not what I saw. That's fine. Oh yeah, whatever. But remember, but remember now. Remember now. That was your fifth time experiencing the no. haunt. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. I saw his reactions. Is all I'm saying. I, I got it. Fifth time experiencing <laughs> the haunt, also, and we are watching. Oh. He's trying to navigate. So he was explaining that to me because I told him, "I'm like, dude, I watched you guys interacting. I'm like, you seemed like you were good." He's like, it was not as good as it looked, I promise. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't, I can't, like, that's his experience, you know. All right. But he did say, again, far and above, far, far, far and above anybody else in the area. So, 
Are you ready, Gage? I am. You know everybody's watching right now, like... <sighs> you know, let's just say... Why we'll just give just him like a, the, what do you think? A 20. You want to just skip the review? We Why don't could. we just skip the review? We could. Let's just skip it. Let's just skip it. Let's uh, let's talk let's about end uh, the video. Let's talk about a different haunt. Let's talk about a different haunt that I really like. Um, God, I wonder, will it be? I'm just kidding. Um, let's jump in. And... <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Let's let, let's do the review. Here we go, general guys. Is there a website? Yes. Does it have good information? Yes. Two <laughs> points. Stop. Just continue. I Mute can't. your microphone. So Mute your microphone. I'm not kidding. Is parking available on site? Yes. Is it clearly labeled? Yes. Two points. Is there clearly labeled attended ticket booth? Yes. Does it present prices and rules? Yes. Two points. Clear queue lines? Yes. Two points. Are the attractions clearly marked? Yes. Two points. Are atmospheric music and audio selections appropriate when used? Yes. Two points. Did actors stay in character? Yes. All five points. Was the haunt fully well staffed? Yes. The most I've ever seen there. Full five points. Was there clear directions through and after the haunt was over? Yes, five or two points. Was the lighting used in the haunt appropriate? Yes, two points. Were there any unusual scents? If there were, they were light. I said yes, musty, kind of in the bathroom, like the toilet paper hallway, and then uh, maybe like some of like the spark smells or maybe a little bathroom scent, but whatever it was. For you to get the full two points, I have to walk into a rumor area and go, sense. And it has to immediately grab me. So I gave one point for that. It has to punch you in the face. Trust me, it's better than a zero. Did you catch another group? No, two points. Did the haunt maintain immersion? App so. Frickin' lootly. Yes, two points. Was the senior appropriate? Yes, two points. Was the walking path safe and well-maintained? Yes, however, there were one or two like four ways up or pathways that I thought were raised or not quite what they could have been. And there was also sharp edging in the dark hallway. Uh, it's still a concern of mine. It's still something I think can be covered up with a padding. It can mediate a lot of smashing your face. Uh, so instead of the two points for that, I gave one point. Did the haunt feel appropriately priced? Yes, two points. Did the haunt have a good atmosphere? Yes, two points. Grand total after losing just two points, 38 out of 40. Very, very well done. Gage, take it away with scares. I'll mute. For scares, did the actors attempt to scare you? Yes, two points. Were masks used good, of, good, of good quality? Yes, two points. Did props seem real and scary? Yes, two points. Were the actors in correct positions to enhance the scares? Yes, two points. Were there in a was there a variety of monsters? Yes, two points. Did actors try to scare you twice in the scene? Yes, two points. <laughs> Did any actors try to scare you? Actors and props scare you in the scene three times? Yes, two points. You know, like I put up a two, they look at the oh wait, that's three. Did Eddie Atcher scare you from below the waist? Yes. And did Atcher scare you from above the waist? Uh, above? Yeah. Four points in total. Was there more than jump scares in the haunt? Yes. Five points. Gave him the full five on this one because that's something I want to note that they are unique. Multiple rooms with different scares whether it be psychological pure jump scares or just you know visual horror looks like you had something you want to say uh was there a go home scare in the very last room yes there was with the blinking room i, I consider that a go home scare sorry jared were there scares the same as last year so now this is where i did kind of dot them for some points as opposed to the five, I gave them three because it was still sufficiently good. There were still some quite a few changes. I could see some, there was a lot of recycled stuff. I would say half recycled, half new, and that's not bad at all. That's why I gave them three out of five. Uh, did actors seem well-trained and enthusiastic? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two points. 
Were all props, animatronics, and devices in working order? Yes, two points. Were there any unique scares? Yes, two points. Did anyone scream, get out? No, two points. Did any sounds used to enhance the scares? Yes, two points. So out of 40, <clears throat> we're sitting at 38. And that's the thing. When it comes to these, these are just the, really the minimums you should be having at every hunt. People should be getting this almost at, 100, at uh, 40 for each. Yeah. So you and I actually went through Realm of Darkness early in the year. But we went mm -hmm. through for fun. And we actually went through three times the first time we went to it. And I remember walking out of there and going, how is the show going to get better than this? How are they going to give us a better performance than this? It, it can't happen. This is the best show they've ever given. When we walked in tonight, and I started to notice the effects that were going off in the different rooms, whether it was lights blinking, sounds, or just the way the actors were working in there, it was tonight was Realm of Darkness's best show, period. That is, a, that is a definitive statement. Tonight was the best show I've ever seen from them. The actors were aggressive, on point, in character, and energetic. Again, we went through at the very end of the night. The effects, the interactivity, everything worked together to make this performance the complete scare and haunted attraction package. Now, I watched my brother and his girlfriend go through this haunt. Sure, they have a few gripes, of course. I'll say it again. Dalton and Ben are light years ahead of anybody else in the Green Bay area. I'll echo what he said. There are two haunts that I take my brother to every year now. Revenge, Realm of Darkness. As far as I'm concerned in the Green Bay area, those are the two best haunts. There is no competition. Outstanding show, outstanding work, outstanding craftsmanship and immersion. So important, so important. How many times do you walk through a, a haunted attraction and you see a security guard halfway through the haunt just standing there in the corner? There goes my immersion. What are you doing there? You don't belong there. I shouldn't see you. Get behind something. I shouldn't know you're there. I, I want to get killed by the spooky ghost down the way. I don't want to get followed by... Bob, the security guard, who's getting paid twelve fifty an hour on the weekend to do this. Tonight's performance was supreme. I've been using that word this weekend. And it's odd because the shows we went to this weekend, all four of them gave very top-tier performances. There's something in the air in Wisconsin with Wisconsin haunts right now. I kind of feel something in the industry. There's a higher quality scare actor work. There's a higher quality st uh, uh, a storytelling going on within the haunts. I like it. I like it a lot, and I'm here for it. Gage, give us some, give us some thoughts. <clears throat> There's something to be said. We're going to move on to extra points now, guys. When this joke is getting old. It was like, perfect. It, Come but on. you keep saying it Come every on. video, every ah. other video. At this point, because we recorded, but we recorded three videos today. This is our third. Just one of them, he did the same joke. So, all right, anyways, there's something to be said. When you watch our end of the year reviews, and ever since Realm has moved to that location, 
they've been, you know, they've been on that one. Now, to be fair, yes, I think last year was the first year, you know, but I can almost see that being brought up multiple times throughout the next coming years if they keep this performance up like they did today. Yeah. Realm of Darkness brings the literal definition of darkness with that dark cave. The kind of cave I'm kind of afraid of bashing my head in on the corner of a wall. Which is, brings me to one of my points. <laughs> with, I, I would like to see carpet in that hallway. I I get it. I'm I'm sure it might be difficult in some way, but I mean, I just, I, I know there's something that can be figured out. It's It's kind of, and to be fair, it's hard to fall in there. It really is. So I can see why they probably don't put it in there. But I would just recommend it. Cover all ends. Cover all loose ends. Uh, again, Realm of Darkness. It hits hard. And I'm glad I could be here for it. I actually want to go off what you just said with Realm of Darkness hitting hard. It does. And it mm -hmm. hit different tonight. Watching Jared and Sarah go through that haunt and following those guys through there. Uh, the psych ward specifically stood out. My brother wanted me to make sure I shouted the actress in the psych ward at about 8.45, 8.50 p.m. on Sunday night. Uh, she was stellar, and she is his uh, pick for uh, MBA on this night. She uh, got multiple scares out of him. She had an actual weapon, and there's always that 0.001% thought in the back of your brain. Like, what if this chick, like, stabs him? That's a good haunt psychology because real weapons, specifically edged weapons and sharp weapons, elicit a fear in most people. That's why if you ever walk into a room and there's sharp edges all pointing at you from multiple angles, it makes you feel like it gives you a certain sense of, I don't like this. There, there's a reason for that. And that reason is you can get hurt. I liked that. I liked that we had a really good actress in that room because when we were walking up there i was like this is a great chance to make my brother scream make sarah scream get a good jump scare out of him i i knew it was coming i was there for it you know i was watching for it and the actor work like i said outstanding very very good um so he wanted me to make sure i remember to shout her out and yeah it hit different tonight. This was my fourth time through it, and it felt like a totally different yet similar experience. It's my fifth time. Yeah, I did really, really enjoy it a lot. Uh, Gage, anything else you want else you would like to uh, add, or do you want to go into extra points? We can go into extra points. You want to do MVAs after extra points or before? <clears throat> Should we save that for the end? Yeah, we can do MVA for the end. Okay. Right. Go yeah, ahead. You know, Extra actors point. are just like ignoring the points and they're just like right to the end. I want to see who's the best. All right. So extra points tonight. Well, you guys all know that my base score out of general was 38 out of 40. And gauges, of course, was the same. So that puts them at a current standing score of 76 out of 80. So even if they don't score any more points, they're a good haunt. That's not the case tonight. I do have some extra points. Plus one, the Q line work tonight was stellar, outstanding, phenomenal. Gage, I'm using it. There we go. There's my one use for the video. I know I can't use it. There's my one use for the video tonight. Multiple Q line actors, multiple different Q line actors, all with differing personalities. And they interacted with us inside and outside of the cage, weren't afraid to rib us. And they didn't, you know, once we were forward, they didn't just forget about us and move on to somebody else. They kept circling back around. The effort was there. We had a scare from below before we ever got into the attraction tonight. That's the first haunt all year to get that uh, this year, which is very, very, very good. Um, and, uh, yeah, plus one point Q-line work. Um, plus one to the worker bringing you into the elevator. Wow. 
did this person have an understanding of their demented character? Head bashed in, something sticking out of their head, a little radioactivity going on, and they had some brain trauma, some whatever was going on. They were, you believed their character because their lines, their, I don't know if it was scripted, their lines, what they said was so unique. It was almost charming. Plus one to the elevator worker on this night. The clown girls were on point and got the triple scare for the clown hallway. We were watching for it. I was hoping they were going to do it because to my knowledge, that's one of few places at Realm of Darkness where they have the opportunity for three scares. So based on, you know, whatever, based on the time frame of the scares, that was an awesome hallway. The girls worked it very well. They did an excellent job. Plus one point. The kitchen scare usually bores the crap out of me. I'm telling you straight up, I don't care. The kitchen scare at Realm of Darkness has left a few things to be desired for me in the past because I know it's coming. It doesn't do it for me anymore. I'm like, oh wow, it's going to run out. And on this night... Everything went as it usually does. The actor sold it so freaking well. It turned a usually boring scare into a from Justin on his way out of the room. I'm telling you guys, I have seen this scare too many times. It's old to me. And it felt brand freaking new tonight. The difference between quality and engaging scare acting and normal boring scare acting. Well done. Additional point. The girl in the psych ward was straight up nightmare fuel. Plus one point. You've already heard you're the MVA from my brother. I will echo that and say you are nightmare fuel. Well done. The effects and lighting and sound tonight were A+. Plus. They were actually a step up from two or three or four weeks ago, however long ago it was that we went through for the first time. This haunt engaged almost every single one of my senses. And they did it on an exceptional level. Plus one. Somehow, somehow, this haunt was actually better tonight. The second time we came, on a Sunday night, than it was at the end of September when we went through the first time, plus one point. That's a total of eight additional points, bringing their current standing score to 84 out of 100. 84? Yep. <clears throat> so my additional points. I want to give an extra point to the fact that every time we seem to go to Realm, what do I always say to you? After, when we get done, when we get done, what do I always say to you? You want to go again? <laughs> oh, he did say it tonight, by the way. I did say it, but then he corrected me. Gage, it's 9.05 and they close at night. I'm like, damn it. Because <laughs> I was so ready for it. I wanted to give an extra point for that one. I also want to give an extra point for the variety of rooms that they have because... It is a plethora of different choices on this feast that is Realm of Darkness. On this table, What's I that got word? the mashed potato. Use feast. that word. Use that word again, though. That started with a P. Plethora. 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 I, good I job. have a P, good I word. have a peach. And, I have a peach impediment. No, you did a really good job. Say it again. Plethora. Okay. Are you making fun of me? Or no. Are you say it again. Me? I'm complimenting you. Say it again. Plethora. Plethora. I'm really proud of you for using that word, by the way. I am trying. You my best never use words like that. I'm so proud of you, dude. Seriously. Yeah. 
I was going to say my other word, but you took it. Um, anyways, you got the mashed potatoes. That is the elevator room, all right? You got the prime rib. That is the uh, giant rat. The rat. <laughs> that comes out. That <laughs> you got, and you got the desserts, like, you know, the different separation room. I had to give an extra point for that. My next point is going to the waiting room slash queue. That waiting room, it, it's on a different level. When you can, when you as the customer, say if it's a long line night, you can see the people in these cells. It's like inmate number one, get ready for capital punishment, you know? Inmate number two, advance to inmate number one's position kind of ordeal. You know what I mean? It's just, it, it sets that tone. And the music, if I may, goes hard. It is properly lit. <laughs> My next point is the energy of the actors. So many of these actors are not only unique, they all have their own story. It, it almost seems like you can look at them and just see a story. There's a thing in video games where you look at a scene and they have to give vis they give you visual story without even having to read anything or something like that. That's what Realm of Darkness kind of does well. You can look at this actor or actress, see them. You can almost paint this whole story going on in your head about that one character's you know backstory. Point for that one. My next point is the, I almost want to say originality. Because it seems like they do things you never see at any other haunt. Their scares is just almost on a different, I, it's almost on a different level. Because you take a elevator and you go up a few levels. So, sorry, that was a terrible attempt at a joke. I was thinking, I was digging at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to give a point to the the hobo the hobo off front because I, I swear to you Justin was like you know that's an actor right I'm like that's not an actor that's actually a hobo off front. I, I thought I looked at him yeah I thought I, I was like maybe he's an actor and then like as we're walking up he pulls up his cart Argh! I'm like okay all right, yep, you're right. <laughs> he played his story well because he stuck into those trash cans, sifting through it, looking for cans to sell at some local recycling joint for like 10 cents so he can go get his next fix. You know what I mean? So I had to get an additional point there. <laughs> and my last point that I got to give, I just reached in my back pocket and realized I had this thing. So I want you all to know that I have your DNA and I'm going to commit a crime with it. Um, my next point <laughs> has to go to that psych ward because it seems like every time we go there, it hits. But this time, it did hit different. We are so Zoomerish today with all these lits, hits, different, mids. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, that actress in there, Nightmare fuel it reminded me of the of the grudge or the ring girl or even the exorcist that that messes with my head. All right. I, I didn't like that, but I do like that. So nice job. I had to give an additional point there. So that's my points. What are we sitting at? How many did you give total? I gave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 91 out of 100. Great show. Great, it really was. Great work. If you like haunted houses, if you like haunted attractions, and you aren't going to the haunts in the Green Bay area, especially the ones we review, more specifically, Realm of Darkness, you are doing yourself a disservice and you are missing one hell of a show. Probably one of my top three favorite haunted attractions ever. 
again. Home haunters of humble beginnings, getting their dues, getting the respect they deserve. Very, very, very proud of those two boys. Very impressed by those two young men and their work. Exceptional. Exceptional. 91 out of 100. A great haunted attraction. Who's your MBA? Psych ward girl. Scared the shit out of me. I wasn't even up there for the scare and I didn't like it. Outstanding. Is it too late to change my mind? Because this and gal I want, has now... And I want to... I, I, I want to give, give honorable mention to the yes. hobo. Sorry. I want to give honorable mention to the guys in the swamp tonight because they they found a theme when they were working with our group and they kept it going all the way through our whole walk up and around and through the swamp really good and I also want to give honorable mention tonight to our guy in the shower really good work in there I know you do the same show for the same people so many times hundreds but, but it's really really good and it is a nice gentle break from the rest of the house it helps break up the pacing and your character is so lovable awesome i wanted to make sure i gave honorable mention to those guys and again mva tonight psych ward my honorable mentions has to be the one who ran at the chained wall. Yeah. Because not only did that actor ran into the wall once, they bounced, then ran in again. Mm -hmm. Fell back and ran in again. Almost Mm -hmm. as if it's like a zombie trying to break through to get a bite at your neck. I've I've seen nights where that scare was bad. Yeah, it's just like, wah. Yeah, I've seen nights where that scare sucked gonna call it how i see it i have seen nights where that scare was not good and And to be honest tonight it was the best it's ever been if that would have been the same scare as last time i probably would have knocked down one of my scare points because of it but um yeah that's my other honorable mention that's one of my honorable mentions my other one is the shower gentleman that's good and so I, brother, you're, you've been there. I've been there five times. To- I went through it five times, been there three separate times. You've been there every night. Uh, Friday, no. Wait, did we go on a Friday? Mm-hmm. We went Friday, you Saturday, Sunday. Dude, you're playing the overtime and you're showering with random people. Like, that that says something. That's my un- other honorable mention. My, my MVA is a psych ward girl because, right, right. I, I wanted to. I didn't see her crawl up on the bed, and I feel like that. I I really wish I would have saw that. But when I looked at her and she had that knife and the way she was giggling with it, it made me seem like, all right, girl, all right, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up. You are the big guy behind me is more of a pincushion. Hit him. So the scissors was good. It 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 was a great job. The medical scissors, really good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh, great show, Realm of Darkness. If you guys haven't been there, I absolutely recommend that you check it out. One of the one of the best haunted attractions in the state, no question. Uh, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed the review tonight. And of course, if you are a scare actor or actress at Realm of Darkness, let us know if anything in this review helped you in any way. And of course, if you've been to the Realm of Darkness, make sure you let us know if you enjoyed the review and let us know what your thoughts were on the show. I'm Justin with Is It Scary Wisconsin, joined by my best friend Gage and his dog Ruby. And And at the end of the day, we have just one question to ask. Is it scary, Wisconsin? You tell us. Have a good night.